see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North! You stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the Vilar King for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door. The unholy relics of this conjunction. The trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves. Did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity. Long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes. Their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip. Justizement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time of madness and disdain. So here we go and welcome back to my next play, this time of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Since we just finished Witcher 2 and I had a blast playing it and uh, yeah, quickly afterwards I finished the second part of the game too, where we joined the Skrulls and uh, it was yeah, as good as the uh, human path so to say. Um, since the quarantine with the coronavirus and stuff is still going on here, yeah, I figured why not jump directly into the third installment of the series, where apparently Nilfgaard has now invaded the north. The sorceress and sorcerer are killed due to a witch hunt or whatever else is going on, and the world has also become more unfriendly to witches, apparently. And hey, here we go trying to continue our adventure after Geralt has yeah, regathered his memories. So we will see how this game will go. Uh, I play the Game of the Year edition with all the expansion packs installed. And from what I have heard, Witcher 3 is uh, the best part of the series, so I'm eager how this will work out if they combined the best parts from here, yeah, part 1 and part 2, into a great third experience, or in which direction the studio has gone. So without further ado, let's go!
You heard what she said. All right, here we go. Let's choose the fresh start. Uh, blood and broken bones. Well, I'm not seasoned in The Witcher 3 since this will be the first time I will play it actually. But yeah, I finished the last part on hard mode after our playthrough. Also went with the alchemy tree and it was kind of easy after you figure out how good the footwork talent was. But yeah, let's go with blood and broken bones, I guess. And short tutorials, sure. Uh, Import Witcher 2 safe game. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Uh, oh, it only has the manual save slot apparently. Let's choose the last one then. April 9. Thursday. There is a quick save. Yeah, let's go with that one. That was the one on the Elven path, where I spared the last boss actually, Letho, and spared the sorceress. Because we killed both in the first playthrough. But let's see what happens here. It seems to be like war. Oop. A horse lost its head. by a raven. Okay, <laughs> that is a start, yep. <laughs> Why not? Oh, what the heck is this? Careful, careful. 
goes where you don't want it to go. You know I don't find that amusing. Seems like this was the magic joke. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. <sighs> you promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. Apparently outside someone is killing some grass or trees, sorry for that, but can't change it right now, if you can endure it. So, guess that's Triss, just a hunch. It seems like we have found Siri again. But this comes out of nowhere, that's for sure. No, it's not Triss. So maybe this actually plays before the events of The Witcher 1 right now. Where we are still connected with Siri and Jennifer. Uh, yeah, tutorial, sure. There it is, Jennifer. Uh, okay, maybe. I don't need tutorial for everything, but only the new mechanics, kind of. Hold right click for Witcher senses. Okay. Look for highlighted objects. Oh. Some armor and some rune signs, I guess. Got any clothes that aren't black or white? Hmm. Undergarments. Ah, you can now also jump. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Hope there will be no jump riddles this time. That will be awkward. So, what else? So, these rune signs there. Okay, you can light out the candles. Uh, okay, what else do we have? Can we pick that up? Apparently not. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, just some fire. Excellent. Juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Hmm. What else do we have? Okay. So this is the art sign. So it's only for pushing out fires so or light them right now. And we found a key. So I bet we can open these. And the left mouse button is just for attacking with our fists here. Fast attack, more strong attack. This time with shift, I see. But once we are in combat, we can also parry. Just like in previous games. Can we jump down no. here? No. Ah. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Hey, old man. Wake up. So this seems to be before the wild hunt happened and abducted us. Maybe. 
guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Mm. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. No, the sword don't let it fall. <laughs> Great. You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any Striga. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Okay. Better not? Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Hmm. Of course, yeah. Let's let's do it. Of course. This a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Well then here we go. Okay. Can't jump up there. I have to climb it the fair way. Seems easy. So I know how to do that. And then you can jump to get over it. So you're moving a little bit slow. So this, this time there is no hot button for your richer senses, I guess. Oh. Okay. Good old roll to evade. What nice skill there was. Breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Okay, you don't have to go all the way down, you can also let yourself fall. And you can also run, apparently. If you hold the shift button. Press space while running to leap over obstacles. Here the issues come. So, seems like there are some jump and run riddles, maybe. Hopefully I won't die from fall damage or stuff like that. Oh, 
took four <laughs> damage or something. Well then. Yep. <laughs> Apparently you can't fall. So who are the other dudes? Not looking healthy. Are these the other witchers from the first part? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells. And by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Oh, don't weasel out of this. <laughs> like, no excuses here. Don't try to weasel your way out of this. A witcher must know how to trick his opponent. You said so yourself. Might have. But don't use my words of wisdom on Vesemir, got it? That's playing with fire. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. <laughs> the dummy. Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals, or go right to free training? Yeah, combat tutorial. Let's teach me. work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals. And Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Garrett! All right, what is new? Um, yeah, we know science, we know alchemy. Uh, draw your steel. Yeah, it's still number one. Okay, and this time the Y key is for targeting. One, two, three. All right. Give it all you got. Never lock your elbow when striking, young lady. Come on, at them! What the blazes are you doing? You cannot do that. Come yeah, forward. I mean. Enough. So you have to do it at the same time, apparently. Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. Okay, and then dodge. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to do that, man. Just let me dodge. Okay. Now, Siri, Siri, see how Geralt pulls his sword. It's angry. Okay, so we just hold for burying. Pretend now, live later. Repost! Strike! Counter strike! Press right mouse button just before your opponent strikes. Okay. So no symbol this time. Just have to do it at the right time. Okay, that's not that easy. How long you gonna make me wait? Damn it, I need the timing for this. Oh, nope, that's not the timing. So, seems like I suck at this. There, I don't get the timing for it. Man, I'm trying it. Let's 
just for parrying. Yeah, it's too difficult. I'm already bleeding like hell here. <laughs> I did it once, but since then, I'm too stupid to do this. So I know what I will not try to do. Oh, okay. So you can't hold it all the time, then maybe. Now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with. Alright, and we go to Quen. Ziri, Quen is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Okay. Ha! Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. See? If not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. Good old roll will be better than blocking and stuff. Okay, so if he attacks and I don't block, yeah, then you counter. Okay, I see. So my mistake was that I was uh, parrying or holding the right mouse button all the time for the parrying, but if you want to counter, you yeah, have to just press it as he attacks, like this, and it's easier. So what do we have to do? Uh, art. Go art. See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything. This will be quick and Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Ugh. Axie can really muddle your mind. Erden now. Show her, Geralt. Okay, the last one. This is a trap room. Apparently, we have now three more. Damn it. That will be interesting. Couldn't move if I wanted to. Good old roll. Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. Ah, okay, no, this is for the quick slot menu, like bombs and traps and stuff like that. And this time the middle mouse. Okay. What's next? Okay, we have to go here. Ah, and then you have long-range bomb throws this time. Okay. Bad idea. Enough. Continue training. What the heck, man? <laughs> Stop attacking me. This was over. Oh. Whoa! You really showed him, kid. <laughs> yeah, you've beaten the dummy. She devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri. Uh oh, not answering. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Is there a person in there? No, right? What? To the present, I guess. We are now rocking a beard. You all right? 
<laughs> Had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Mm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Yeah, so let's find them. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? <laughs> okay. Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. Certain situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I smell it. Ghouls. Well then, some action. Here come the monsters. Where you have to draw the silver sword. I think it's on, on two. Okay. Well, they are dodging fast. Now the damage is on top of them. Okay. Well, still one in my back. Keep watch about my surroundings. Oh, and still have the trap room here. Man, they are ugly. Uh, still got to evade. Uh, okay, let's use Igni maybe. Let's see. Damn you! I wanted to attack there. I'm nearly dead, but that's it when you play on hard mode for the first time. Uh, let's use art, maybe. Okay, near death, but still managed somehow. Man, I suck at this. Adrenaline points, okay. So we have to finish our ability from the beginning this time. Armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. All right. Ah, uh, food and drink. Meditation does not regenerate vitality. Okay. 
Well then, we can only rely on some food. But let's loot our friends here first. On, I want to loot. Give me the stuff. There were more corpses, right? We can also grab some plants here. There are even more plants. Okay, I see it on the mini map actually. I see. Let's grab everything that is here. Yeah, then I see some more loot. And our horse. So this time we have actually a horse to get around. Not endless walks. And I see more ghouls down there. Probably it's wise to just... Yes, don't go my nose. Uh, with Gwen in the beginning. To up our defenses. Well, let's check out our inventory. Is there anything from the previous games? Yes, and so on and so on. And just press X, okay. Preview. Alright, what is this? Just a torch, okay. What do we have here? Tenny all. Stamina regeneration in combat. 5%. Okay, I see. And what do we have here? Wolven hour. Okay. Oh, maybe. This is the letter, apparently. Right. Crafting materials and alchemy. And that's it for now. Alright, player stats. Just a silver and steel sword, normal one, and so on. 21 armor. Alright. This is the world map, so where are we? No other names on the map. So maybe we have to go to this village there. Do we have then quests? Yeah, follow Wizimir, sure. Character. Okay, this seems like the talent tree. Fast attack, strong attack. Okay. Have to check that out later. We have here that is the magic tree, then so combat, science, alchemy, okay, basic witcher stuff. So we have bombs here, oils, potions, mutations, and something else withstand toxicity, okay. So maybe when you drink potions, then it gives you some bonuses and stuff. General abilities. Okay, so with this you gain some vitality regeneration, which might come in handy. Survival instinct increases vitality. Piece of light armor, okay. Okay, so this increases armors. So you can have heavy, medium and light armor. So maybe they affect your combat style and then just some mutagens. Okay, I see. What else do we have here? And just some... Okay, just the usual stuff, just a no, no, now no... Stop. New overlay. Kind of. Well then, let's jump on the horse. 
and hope that we don't die. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly mm. going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders. Soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Oh, I see red dots on the map, so maybe drawn us here. At the village or something. More drawn us. This is like a family reunion. Come on now. Can we go down here? And maybe challenge them? I know I will probably die, but hey. Uh, let's use our silver sword. One is coming, I guess. Let's greet them, if I can. Yep, no, I have made my landing here. Let's see if there's anything. Drowner. So, four is maybe the level. You can flee and live to fight another day. Okay. So, maybe level four is too difficult. Yep. Should dodge in the right direction. Oh. Damn I miss my stamina. So the next attack probably kills me. Well then, come Mr. Drowner. Was a fatal blow. And now another one. If we wait for our stamina bar to fill, I can maybe use my art. This is not lootable, unfortunately. Fuck, and then we die? <laughs> that was too much. You are dead. Well. So we die quickly here on hard mode. Because I'm still new to this combat system. Oh, well, we could kill one at least. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Oh, you can even Stop attack on your horse. Creatures. That's cool. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. It's what keeps us going. Well then, I think we have to become stronger, maybe? Going. Help me! Help! What is that?
himself an evening snack, I would say. Or breakfast. Has it gone? Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Hmm. No. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Soul one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Hmm, okay. So this will be the first town then, maybe. Seems like you can't do anything else here right now. I want to see where we are on the map now. Ah, I have to click through all of this. Characters, world map. Where are we? Okay, so we came from there. This was ransacked village. So maybe we can come back there later. And kill those drowners then. Alright. Mr. Roach, here we go. Come on, Roach. Come on, Roach. <laughs> Named after so, Vernon, I guess. A griffin this close to the village. Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest or the mountains, sure, but here? Near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Local residents often erect notice boards for quests. Okay. Let's go to the inn here. of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. <sighs> My arse it is. Weaver lost freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. 
folk are jumpy around here. Armies just pass through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Okay. So we have a chop here and get some chicken legs. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. As soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And it seems they hanged the lord. So no contract. <laughs> Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. Believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Mm, yeah. Man, this tutorial just <laughs> tries to explain you the world. <laughs> like one plus one and stuff like that, okay. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Show me what you got behind the counter. Mm hmm. Here we go. Just a few coins in our pockets. So has the shopkeeper, so can't trade infinitely here. Might want to buy some food here. So the apple only regenerates 250 HP, if I see that correctly. Whereas the chicken, this one 800, this 500. That also is more pricey. I will hold on for that. And Gwent cards, okay. So this seems to be like the new mini game. No more dice rolling and stuff like that, maybe. Thanks for everything. Well then, let's grab a beer. Or a vodka. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Oh. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless... <laughs> like, I just pressed the left mouse button because I'm used to this, to uh, talk to people and stuff, and uh, suddenly you draw your fist and want to hit him pretty hard. Okay, I see. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Okay, what do we have here? We can make them talk by Axie. To charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during a conversation, invest in the delusion ability. Okay. Well then. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh, and I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up.
be gone. We'll not talk to you. And then get some experience for that one. What do we have here? A cat. Hey, cat. For what? Factions, teams. What a waste of time. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can go to the last bit. Know where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the Academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Well then. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, no, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Okay. Maybe we can make some money here. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. Well then, hit me with the tutorial of this card game. An ancient dwarven card game. Clash of two armies. The players are generals. The cards are the forces. Okay. You will go first here. Yeah. Okay. Choose a card to redraw. To begin, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards. Okay, I see. This is a unit card. Where do I see this? So, this is power 1, okay. So here, I should use Sheldon or Sabrina here. This is the unit's combat row indication. Close ranged siege combat, okay. Special ability. Ah, moral boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row, so it's like a buffer or something, okay. Weather cards. So frost reduces the melee card types. Uh, I guess air. Yeah, arrows and water for the siege, okay. can draw and discard up to two cards. Okay. Well then I guess we start with one of the power cards. Yeah, this is the opponent. No pass. 
each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability, which can be used only once during a battle with X. Okay. So I take in to place it on the battlefield. What is our special ability then? Faultists. Pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly, okay? So while you can't redraw, you have abilities that let, to, let you tutor out your cards out of a deck and then you can do it like this. Either ability, pick a torrential rain from card from your deck. So rain is against siege damage, I guess, and fog is air maybe? So if he casts the water cards, he can make our siege damage less valuable. So I guess we start with this dude with secret. Now well, let's start with secret, I guess. Sure. So our total power is five in that row. Can you only play one card per round? Players then compare the total strength of the units to determine the winner. Then yeah, it all goes to the graveyard, so to say, and it resets, okay. So five against five. But let's let add some archers here. Sheldon, you are up. Still equal here. Oh, I guess we have a lot of archers. So here comes the fog. This reduces of our archer's power, so it's still equal. Well then, foot soldier, it's your turn. Still leading now. Oh, now he leads. else can we do? We don't have any more melee, so I guess go for the Ballista. Good old Ballista. Can't hit the same spot twice in a row, of course. We have learned that from the second game. Mm. Okay, if we play this now. Sub the siege damage by plus one. Then, I mean, do we have to play here? Our power is far higher at this point. So we can pass and see what our opponent does. Oh, and the weather has cleared out. And now he leads. Okay, so opponent has won the first round. Now it's our turn. Can we loot this away? No, apparently not. Well, he doesn't have any cards anymore, so... My opinion, we win this. Yeah, and then the next round, he still has no cards. And play this one. Then we can also play this. Tight one. Place next to a card with the same name to double the strength. Okay. 
Oh, I think that's enough. Yeah, that's exactly what we did. <laughs> it was a pro tip. So we let the opponent win one round. He uses up all his cards and uh, yeah, save your better cards for the second round. Okay. Each deck also features its own hero. Well then. Well then. What well. did we win? You've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Well then, we found our miraculous guide to Gwent and the Gwent deck, I guess. What else is here in this bar? Last one. Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Hmm, okay. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Well, couldn't ask for his name, but I try to remember his face then. So we have to oh some drinking. company here. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Well then, some fist fighting here. Oh, the horses! <laughs> ah, the dodge roll still functions. Come on. 
Stop dodging, man. You stupid fuck. Can we counter him? Yeah, you can even counter in the fist fight. Well then, got some XP for knocking them off. Now can I loot them too? No, I can't apparently. Too bad. Well, I guess that is the um, last of an end for the first episode here. Found also goat hide or something like that. Well, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, even though there was some back noise in the beginning. Seems like the neighbor has uh, ceased and destroying the wildlife finally at 8 o'clock, but. Uh, yeah, he was pretty active. But anyways, see you back in the next episode, where hopefully I don't die all the time and get better at this combat system. But looks pretty good so far. Well, yeah, stay healthy. Bye-bye.